All right, let's get to it, man. I, I think I know where you're leaning. And it's funny because for a couple weeks, I was getting a lot of comments. It's like, you know, these, these guys that you're bringing on are just the biggest homers. They always pick their team to win. And I started to go back over the weeks. I mean, really, I think I've only had two opposing content creators actually pick their team. And that was the Dallas Cowboys. And then the one I had twins on the first week, Steeler twins. One twin picked the 49ers, one twin picked the Steelers. That is it. Everybody else has picked the 49ers to win. Oddly enough, they have not been that homer. But one bar, I mean, you might be that homer. We'll see with your pick here. I got to know, what is the score prediction for this Monday night? Steeler twins. I think I've actually done a collab with those guys. They yeah, were yeah. Uh, they were funny, funny. They're younger, right? Yeah, they're younger. Very quirky. Yeah, yeah. They were they were they were good. That's good stuff. And I'm good. glad the Cowboys guy picked their team to win, and then you guys just <laughs> wipe the floor with them. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing better. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Uh, you know, you guys got some injuries going on. Uh, it sounds like you came on yesterday. It sounds like two of the three are going to be playing, right? I I um, think so. I if I have my guess. Uh, some people are are iffy on Trent Williams still. Um, I I I think Trent Williams and Debo are going to play, and CMC will sit. That's my gut feeling, but we'll see. And let's be clear, that probably doesn't matter. Uh, but as Vikings fans at two and four, as beaten dogs on the floor, we will take injuries, and we will not worry about that. We will take any advantage we can get. So uh, if CMC ain't out, out there, fantastic. Uh, but as far as a score prediction, the only the Vikings only shot at this is if it's low scoring, which is saying a lot when the 49ers score 30 plus pretty much every damn game, uh, except for last week against that beautiful Browns defense. So our only hope is time of possession, something we haven't been able to do, run the ball, something we haven't been able to do, keep opposing teams under 20 points, something that we have not been able to do. <laughs> so it has to be the perfect storm. I'm not saying yeah. it's not possible, yeah. but it has to not only be the perfect game, but the Niners have to have a just a bad game. It's not even the fact if we bring our A game. I mean, we don't have Justin Jefferson. Big old kick to the crotch. So it's it's everything has to go perfect for us, and you guys have to have a bad game. You have to have that hangover against the Browns where every, Brock Purdy needs to follow up another bad game. So my bold prediction yesterday on our show, bold being the key word, this isn't my prediction, is that the Vikings would actually show up on Monday night and put it all together and get a win like something gross, you know, 15 to 13, just something disgusting. <laughs> that was my bold prediction. Coming back to life, uh, <laughs> if my house is on the line and I have to make a bet, it's it's, it's not going to be great. It's, it's not going to be great for Minnesota Vikings fans. Uh, we're not going to get the ball going. We're not going to run the ball. Time of possession will continue to be an issue. When you look at this Niner team, it's so damn complete. It makes me sick. I'm trying to find some spot where the Vikings could take advantage there isn't anything. There isn't anything. The Niners are stacked. It's Monday night. And my biggest fear is that you're going to just murder us on Monday night. And then the, the whole Kirk Cousins doesn't show up on primetime. Vikings can't show up when it matters. Continues. So the other side of that is we will keep it close. We, that's what we do. It's going to be close. It's going to be a one-score game. It's going to suck for Vikings fans because we're probably going to end up losing. It's going to toy with our emotions. So if you're looking for a score prediction, I'm going to say the Vikings will lose like 24 to 16, something like that. Like, like they're going to play. They're going to show up. They know this is kind of their last hurrah, their only chance. And Brian Flores is going to bring something fancy. Uh, hopefully it, it works, uh, but, you know, we'll see. But it's going to be a one-score game. That's my prediction, but we will lose. All right. I, I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that. Samir says, after losing to the Browns, why wouldn't one bar pick the Vikings if all the Northern stars align? <laughs> Good comment. That's a great, that's a great comment. But I am with for facts sake, which is after last week's game, not a chance. And I think that's actually what I said on your show yesterday, one bar, which is if the 49ers hadn't lost last week, maybe just maybe everything could work out in the favor of the Vikings. But now the 49ers have been woken up. They've been brought back down to earth a little bit. They know they can be beat. I, I just, I, I don't see a path for Minnesota winning. That being said, I didn't see a path with a third string quarterback, no Chubb, 
their best offensive lineman out. I didn't see a path necessarily for the Browns, but the one difference is, well, a couple differences. One, elite defense over there. They also can run the ball, and and weather did play a factor, at least for the first half of that game. Weather is not going to be an issue here. Vikings cannot run the ball, and the Vikings defense is improved, but not a great defense by any means. I just don't think with a week of preparation, knowing that CMC is likely going to be out versus losing him mid-game, those are two very, very different things. I just I don't see it happening. I think the 49ers get back on track. They do what they've been doing. They get up over 30 again, with or without CMC. They will win 31 to 13. That is oh, my prediction. This is very uplifting. I feel really good about myself and my team after <laughs> that. Uh, you're spitting facts. There's no doubt about it. So uh, I can't even argue anything you just said. And in a if if realistically, the Niners should should blow us out. Like when I say a one score game, that's not me just going the fantasy land hoping. It's just what we do. But the Niners should beat us. I mean, this should be like cowboy esque score uh, where you just blew us blew them out. Yeah, absolutely. And listen, I'm not saying that weather is an excuse, but it was a factor, right? Like there's a difference. And and again, you know, this dates back. I, I'm fair. I've been fair with the weather thing for mo- different quarterbacks on this roster as well. So I'm not going to not give it uh, Purdy's direction. But, you know, you're right. I mean, the offense wasn't wasn't great. Um, both teams had to play in it. Then they didn't have to score 30 last week. Like you don't have to score 30 every week to win. They just needed to get to 20 and they couldn't get there. So I, I get that. Um, and I do think that they score over 30 and they do it without CMC and, you know, all is right in 49er land. We'll be just fine. It will be fine. One bar, (laughs) one bar. I got to say, thank you so much. Not only for, for coming on here and, and making a, an odd time work, but also having me on yesterday for the rapid fire questions. I really, really enjoyed things that you have going on on your show. They are I mean, at this point, you guys are less than 100 away from hitting 10,000. Am I am I right on this? Yeah, we need like 85. Uh, and if we get smoked by the Niners, uh, we might just lose 1,000. You don't, you don't even know. We, we, we got a lot of guys that like to jump ship real easy. Okay. Yeah, we're, about, we're about 90 away. So we're getting so, close. I can't wait to see that 10K. Actually, here, you know what? Here, I'm going to do this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something a little bit different than what I would normally do. I'm getting, give me a second here. Because I... Listen, I know how lazy y'all can be when it comes to doing things that we ask. Like, if it's not right in front of you, uh, then you just won't do it. (laughs) So (laughs) I can tell you, go check the link in the description and all the other things. But you won't. You won't do it. You're, you're, uh, you you won't check the link in the description and you won't go subscribe. So there it is. I'm going to put it out there for y'all. Here, one more time. Let right. me take the, I'm going to put it out yeah, there you, for y'all. Let me take that that period away. Otherwise, the link won't work. There's the link to the channel. It's right there. Just click on it and hit subscribe. Okay? Come on. Do it, do it, it for man. these guys. Get them over that 10K. These guys have been working their butts off. And I know, I know that you want to go into the chat after the 49ers win and run your mouths. So there you go. They will take it. <laughs> They are less than 100 away from 10,000 subs. And for a content creator, that is such a big milestone. Go give them some love. Go subscribe. 